Hello friends, welcome back to this video on analog communications. So today we are going to discuss about the classification of broadcast transmitter. So in my previous video, I have already discussed about first type of classification which was based upon the carrier waves frequency. So there I had three type of classification. First was long wave transmitter, second was mid wave transmitter and third was short wave transmitter. So here we are classifying again in our transmitters based upon the power level and now we have two types of transmitters first is low level transmitter and second is high level transmitter okay so we are going to talk about their block diagram after that we'll be talking about their advantages as well as disadvantages so stay tuned with me till the end of this video so you'll be getting more information about both low level as well as high level transmitter so first of all i'll be discussing about the block diagram of low level transmitter but before that i want to tell you that both low level as well as high level transmitters work only on mid wave transmitter as well as short, short wave transmitter they don't work upon the long wave transmitter i hope this thing is clear if i have to construct low level transmitter and high level transmitter i'll be using the mid level frequencies or short wave frequencies only i cannot use the frequencies of long wave transmitter so first of all this thing should be clear now coming to the low level transmitter what is low level transmitter in the low level transmitter this modulation is occurring at the low power level so we are classifying the transmitter based upon this block only so here if the modulation is occurring at low power level then it is low level transmitter now here if the modulation is occurring at high power level it is high level transmitter so this thing should be clear so now coming to the very first block so first block is stabilized rf crystal oscillator so we are using the crystal oscillator to produce a stabilized frequency wave so this frequency wave is not having very high frequency because if i have to generate a stabilized frequency with the help of crystal oscillator we cannot produce very high frequency if i try to generate very very high frequency with the help of crystal oscillator it will become unstable okay so this thing should be clear that with this stage i can only generate less frequency signal only okay so here we are generating less frequency value signal now i already told you that the carrier signal is having very high frequency so i require very high frequency with the help of harmonic generator i'll multiply this carrier frequency with the help of harmonic generator and i'll be getting the high frequency output okay so now this thing should be clear here we have various multipliers so now if let's suppose 2 kilohertz frequency is generated here and here i require 1000 kilohertz frequency so i hope now you can understand that i require 500 multipliers so this thing should be clear that with the help of harmonic generators only i am increasing the frequency so always the carrier frequency is very high frequency i can have the high frequency with the help of harmonic generator and it is a class c tuned amplifier so whatever frequency will require so i require let's suppose 1000 kilohertz so it will be tuned around 1000 kilohertz okay so i hope you remember in the tuned circuit if i make the gain versus frequency graph it will be like this so it is having maximum gain at 1000 kilohertz so this is the working of the harmonic generator so i hope this thing is clear it's a class c tuned amplifier okay so now coming to this block this is class a buffer amplifier what is the work of this block okay so here i require the stabilized output frequency if somehow the load 
is coming back to this frequency it will deform this stabilized structure or if the load or current will come back here this frequency will be altered now it will not be stabilized it will not be a deterministic signal i said the carrier signal is always deterministic it should not vary but if somehow the load current is coming back it will change this carrier frequency and it will become a random signal so we need to protect the signal from the back current okay so this is why i have this class a buffer amplifier so this class a buffer amplifier is actually a very high impedance amplifier which protects the backward flow of current so i hope this thing is clear so i want this stabilized output only so this stabilized output is protected with the help of this class a buffer amplifier so up to here i have generated the carrier frequency so now in the modulator the carrier is multiplied with the input signal so from here obviously i am transmitting the input signal so the first block is af modulating signal this is my message signal so the first thing which we are doing is audio processing and filtering so first of all this af modulating signal is at very high frequency bandwidth so it's a high bandwidth signal first of all we'll filter it so we'll convert it into a so we have converted this signal in the low bandwidth signal okay so this low bandwidth signal is then pass to the audio processing in the audio processing we just amplify the low frequency signals and attenuate the high frequency signals actually we don't attenuate we provide higher gain to low frequency signal and less gain to high frequency signal so this is all about the pre processing we are just pre processing the signal because it was specified with the help of very large frequency now we are restricting it to a small frequency values and again we are changing the amplitude levels also so if the amplitude are changing with a very high level so we'll restrict it and we'll change the amplitude in a very small levels of voltage so now this level of voltage has reduced so first of all we'll do the pre processing of our signal after that we have class a af amplifier so again it is used to restrict the backward flow of load current so it is again high impedance amplifier okay so now here we have modulator so any type of amplitude modulator you can use so now after that we have linear class b power amplifier so till now i didn't amplify the power of the signal so here the modulator is working at the low power level here i'll increase the power of the signal and then i have the matching network the matching network is used so that the power wastage will be less okay so this matching network will provide the matching of the signal to the antenna so that the reflections would not be there and power wastage would not be there so i hope this thing is clear so this was just the block diagram of the low level transmitter i hope all of the blocks and their working are clear now so coming to the high level transmitter okay so now here the modulator should work at a high power level so here the signal which we are getting is high power signal here also the signal which we are getting is high power signal so the modulator is modulating the high power carrier wave as well as high power input signal so what we have changed so this linear class b power amplifier is shifted before the modulator so now here we have rf class b power amplifier okay so this class b power amplifier will make the power of the carrier signal very high so first of all again we have the stabilized rf crystal oscillator so it is passed to the class a buffer amplifier i hope the working is clear 
so i'll not repeat both of them so here i'll be getting a stable frequency class a buffer amplifier will reduce the backward flow of current so after that we have harmonic generator which is acting as a multiplier and this signal which we are getting here is low frequency signal with the help of this multiplier or i can say it as a class c tank circuit or tuned circuit so with the help of this harmonic generator i'll be having multiplied signal so i'll be having high frequency carrier signal here so now here i have rf class b power amplifier so this power amplifier will boost the power of the signal so high power carrier is going to the modulator now coming to the signal so this is my message signal af modulating signal again it is passed to the audio processing and filtering block so after that it is passed to the class a af buffer amplifier again it is used to restrict the backward flow of the load current so that the signal will not alter and there would be no noise in the signal because of the load current so it is high impedance circuit so now here after that we have class b power amplifier so again it is increasing the power of the signal so this is high power signal this is high power signal so two high power signal are fed to the modulator so it is high level transmitter so here again it is fed to the class c amplifier so again we'll amplify it pass it through the matching network so that power loss would not be there and then we'll pass it through the antenna and through the antenna the signal will convert into the em wave and it will be going into the space so now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of low level modulation so first of all the first advantage is that it is working at the low voltage okay so when it is working at the low voltage level the power consumption would be less so here we have less power consumption okay plus it is simple to design as well so here the disadvantage is that the power efficiency is less so now coming to the high level transmitter so high level transmitter the first advantage is that the power efficiency is greater than 80% so here the disadvantage was low power efficiency the disadvantage is overcome with the help of this high level modulation so now the second advantage is the amplifiers are operated at the low level so amplifiers here i am operating them at the low levels so now the disadvantage is that it requires high amplitude of input signal because here i have to transmit this to the power amplifier and we cannot have low level input signal so even if i have the power amplifier to the low level input signal it cannot amplify it to a very high value so if i have high value of input the amplifier will make it very high so then only the power will be high okay so i hope this thing is clear it works only at the high value of the input signal then after this point i'll be having high powers so this structure will give me high power only in the case i have high value of the input signal so the next uh, disadvantage is that it is complex and it is expensive so here i'll be stopping my discussion i hope you understood each and everything about the classifications of the transmitter if you still have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i'll try to resolve it as soon as possible i hope you like this video if you like it share it with your friends subscribe the channel and push the like button thank you